Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, it's me again. So today, I'm pretty excited. I have a map that I created in Kamut and I am gonna go test it out. It's a, according to Kamut, it's 20 miles. I think it's gonna be a little bit more than that. Um, 1800 feet of climbing, 2200 feet total of descent. Uh, most of the climbing is actually not that tough. It's gonna go from uh, basically from state patrol area to uh, jump off Joe by way of all right, well, anyways, we're going to turn off onto a dirt road, gravel road. We're going to ride up to Jump Off Joe. <coughs> Probably take a break at Jump Off Joe. That's only like, it's 5.6 from the time that I get onto the uh, onto the gravel. And then, I don't know, I've got like, what, a mile to ride from here to where the basically the, the route starts. Pretty much a climb. The surface is uh, six and a half miles of unpaved, two, um, 2.9 of paved. 2.1 of asphalt and 8.3 miles of unknown, which is probably dirt and, and asphalt or dirt and gravel uh, for the most part. So, a bunch of off grid segments, a uh, bunch of unknown uh, things like that or whatever. Um, but it basically, from the very start to where I'm at right now, it puts it at 19.9 miles. So, we'll put it. We'll say that it's probably going to be closer to like 25 miles by the time that it's all done. Um, they estimate that it's going to take three hours. According to their estimation of the ride, it is an expert gravel ride, which I don't think that it is. I think it's more like a, um, I think it's more like an intermediate at best. It should be fun. We're going to test it out. We're going to try it. We'll see what happens. If it works, it works. If it doesn't. I'll have to refine it and then I will make it available on Kamut if you're local to the Tri-Cities area or you come into the Tri-Cities area. Uh, I may add on to it over time. Um, there's some spots over there by Nine Canyon that I actually want to look into maybe extending it a little bit more and, and make it just a little bit more of a, you know, a little heavier of a ride or whatever. But should be kind of fun. I'm doing this solo. Anyways, I will spoke to you folks later. I'm going to go put together my bike and we'll get going. So here we go. I'm starting this climb. This is uh, from the parking area down at uh, below the state patrol. I'll show you guys where we're headed. I don't know how that sunlight's doing, so we'll find out in the post. But right over here, I'm hoping it shows. There's some towers over there. I don't know if this GoPro is going to show it. But we're going to go down here, go across, climb up, get to those towers. Those are for the TV station. Uh, I think it's KNDU. We'll go up there, and then we'll come back down, and we'll come down on the other side of that, the far side of that hill. And then we're gonna come down a little bit and go over and the ideas go up. There's a canal that runs back there and we're gonna run part of that. And then we're probably gonna climb up, if I got my mapping right, we're probably gonna climb up. There's a set of towers up here. But it's a Monday today. And the beauty of riding on a Monday is that there's almost nobody out here. The bad thing about riding on a Monday, there's nobody out here. <laughs> if all goes well, I think this loop will be able to be run both ways, forward and back, which would be nice. Hey, my favorite sign ever. Primitive road, no warning signs. All right. We like that sign.
you know what? That's a good spot to get a shot. So this down here is actually a shortcut to get to here. So you can, uh, oh, it's gonna take us a little easy. There's a road that comes in through here and you can take the highway to it and jump into here pretty quick. So it kind of shortens the route up, but I kind of wanted some length on the route. I've been doing a lot of short routes, which is fun, but I also need a little distance under my belt. So I figured 20 miles would be a good way to start off. Starting to get to the windmill towers. Hey, are we already up here? No way. Uh, most of the climbing is actually not that tough. It so, about a third of the way through the ride. <clears throat> I may end up walking. Matter of fact, pretty sure I will. Uh, most of the climbing is actually not that tough. It What can we see today? Ah, oh, it's all foggy. All hazy. That's no fun. Still a decent view. So now the question becomes, if we're not quite halfway, and I'm already this tired, what do we do? We're going to take this way down. It looks like more fun. A mile and a half percent, roughly.
go right and then we go left then it goes down <laughs> So this hill we're about to go down is pretty steep and as a matter of fact it's so steep that they paved one small section of it because otherwise they can't get up in the winter and the summertime is not so much fun either so that'll be coming up here and probably about another quarter mile or so Last time I came up here, I rode up this way, which is a pretty nice little ride. And that section, obviously, I may have uh, thought about walking it. I think I, I think I actually rode the whole thing, but I don't know. I forget. I've got footage somewhere. I didn't use it because it looked terrible.
here we go. This is the uh, interesting section of descent. It's a little weird. It's a little choppy. As you may or may not be able to tell. Paved section. Now we're going to take this a little easier. Oh, look, deer. Oh, deer. Hope you guys can see that. There's only a half mile on this. Pretty easy pedal. Just gonna coast a bunch of it to save my legs a bit. Why this thing slows down fast? Coast it. 